Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about how to add students and other people within your course. Now, before we do that, I want to discuss what we mean by adding people. People are anybody that can engage in your course, and each level of permissions have different abilities within your course. So you need to talk with your district and see which permissions they set up for each person. I can go through some of those permissions from before we end today. Now, to add specific people into this course, you have a couple options. The first one, when I click People tab, notice it was people here on the left, I'm the only one in this course because I'm the teacher, I'm the creator. I haven't added anybody else in yet, but I can push plus people and I could simply paste email addresses and put them in. Or if my district has added them, we can do by login information. So first and last name. So it depends on how your district is. You can paste an entire list or do one at a time. The second option is what can they do? Who are they? If they're a student, leave them a student that allows them to use exactly what the student view shows, what you are allowing them to see. But we have other options as well. Are they another teacher? Yes, you can have co-teachers. Co-teachers have every ability that you have within Canvas. So be aware of that. Are they a TA? TAs can be set up with different roles and permissions. So what are they? Are they a designer? Which means they can just add material but never see any student responses. Or are they an observer? They can just see what's going on in the course. They can't add anything, they're a look only, but they can see. So decide which permission somebody has and that's how you add people. You may also add groups. Now, if you set a group, you give a group a name and you put the students in different groups. You can use those groups for discussions and yes, you, you can change groups often. So that's how you set groups. Now, what permissions do people have? If, since I'm an admin of Google or of this, I can show the permissions of people within Canvas. So let's look at permissions. This is, tells me what permissions can happen within this instance. So students can view their account announcements. Students can do conversations. Students can do discussions. They can post, they can view. Notice there's not as many checked. Teachers have pretty much everything checked. TAs have almost everything checked. Designers have almost everything checked. Observers have the least amount. They can look at the announcements. They can look at the discussions. And that's it. So those are our settings. So when you're adding people, the biggest thing is talk with your district, see what their policies are, because there's a good chance they might add your students for you. If you're adding more people than your district needs to do, they need to know about that as well. So have fun adding people. I hope that helps and looking forward to the next video.